Are New York City housing prices dropping? Is the New York City housing market crashing like the headlines would have you to believe? Maybe not so much. Let's talk about it in this month's New York City housing market update. Do me a favor, stick around until the end of the video for my exclusive predictions on what I think the housing market is going to do in New York City and what it means for you, plus a discussion of what may happen to those high interest rates. Are you ready to get started? Let's go. I'm Dewey Moss. I'm your New York City real estate resource. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button so that you can be alerted of all the great content we're releasing on this channel. Do me a favor, stick around to the end of the video for my exclusive predictions and a discussion about what may happen to those high interest rates. And let's get started. All right. You're hearing in the headlines all the time that the housing market is in trouble. I want to remind everyone, first of all, that the Manhattan market does not necessarily follow the trends of the rest of the United States. We are a very unique market here because of the structure of our deals, the co-op buildings and our entire buying process. We don't necessarily fall prey to what's happening in the rest of the housing market in the US. That does not mean that we're immune. It just means that what you're reading about may not necessarily be affecting the New York City housing market in the same way. So what's really going on? Well, we start as we always do in these market reports and we start with supply. So supply this month is actually down 3.3%. Let's take a look at the chart. And looking at this chart going back to 2019, you can see taking out the highs and lows, we're actually still pretty seasonal on what's happening. If we were in a bad market, the supply would be really, really low. Now here's the challenge. The supply is down during one of our peak buying seasons. Usually this is a peak listing season. We're on the tail end of that. If the supply is already down, chances are it may keep going down, which means that we are in a bit of a tight market. Sellers aren't necessarily wanting to put their homes on the market because they see that it may not be the optimal time for them to get the best price for them. That doesn't mean that sellers still don't have to, some need to sell, so there's that whole market, but on the whole, supply is down. Let's go ahead and look at our pending sales, and that is also down 1.4% from last month. Now, that's not a huge decrease, but it is a little bit down uh, from the prior month, which says maybe Maybe the sellers aren't moving, the buyers aren't moving. Are we kind of at a standoff uh, between the two? We may be, but let me explain why this may still be a good market for someone. Let's take a look at our chart. All right, so you can see from the pending sales, we were up uh, toward the beginning of this year. We're slowly going down. This is not terribly different from usually what happens during this very seasonal period. We're gonna see an uptick in sales and then the pending sales are going to go down. The problem is, is that usually we're higher at this time of year with pending sales. We're more in the 900 range. We're in the 700 range right now. So that's low, which means that there just aren't as many deals going on, but we're still well within our seasonal trends. Next, we look at our liquidity pace chart. Even though things are a little bit lower, oddly enough, our liquidity is still pretty good. We're up 26.5%. That's not bad. Let's take a look at the chart. If you take a look from where we were coming, you can see that we were really low on the liquidity side. It was way below a neutral market. It has gone up. It's going down a little bit here and there, and then it's, it's creeping back up. So we're just at the bottom of a neutral market. Well, what does that really mean? Let's talk about our next segment. So the next thing we look at is the market pulse. This is a little bit of a different number than I've been presenting in our past monthly market reports. Uh, it is uh, a different number. It's negative 1.63. This is sort of a new way to look at it. Anything below zero is gonna be favoring buyers. Anything above zero is going to be favoring sellers in the market. So at negative 1.63, we are favoring buyers somewhat. I previously said at the liquidity chart that we're in a neutral market and we are just on the edge of the neutral market below 
maybe going a little bit below that neutral market. So we're actually favoring buyers. Let's look closely at the chart. You can see where we were up, we were favoring sellers for a little bit, but now we're beginning to trend down and we've been down for a while, which means that we are favoring buyers. Are we in a super heavy buyers market? No, you can see where, where that had really, really dipped in the years past but we are still in a buyer's market despite all the interest rate hikes. So what does that really mean? Well, we're kind of like in an old fashioned Western standoff between sellers and buyers in the Manhattan market. Sellers are very slowly getting the message that they're gonna have to come down in price in order to make a deal to help balance out those, those high interest rates. But buyers are still out there. The thing about it is that buyers are hesitant because of the high interest rates. Obviously, that's gonna affect how a buyer approaches a deal. But what I would say to you, because we have uh, sort of tightened inventory, we have sellers who are, are needing to sell, and we have a buyer's type market, something that's favoring buyers, now is the time to where you can get a deal. I do think prices are gonna start going back up in the spring and what have you. So now is the time that a buyer can get out there, can get a deal, maybe get a deal on those apartments that have been on the market for a while. Where you need to look is what's happening with the negotiability on the, the apartments. If you ask your agent, hey, what's the negotiability factor of a certain neighborhood? They should be able to tell you what's that discount between listing and what things are closing for. If they don't know, maybe find another agent who can tell you that because that's where the discounts are coming in. Where are the apartments closing? We are at a higher rate of negotiability across the board right now, even in areas of town that normally have no discounts like the village and, and, and Soho, places like that. They're having to see, see those prices slash a little bit in terms of negotiability. So you might not actually see it on the listing price, but you will see it on the discount. Very, very important. All right, so with all that said, what are my exclusive predictions in October for the coming market? Let's talk about that. So what is the exclusive prediction for the market going forward? Well, we're about to have Thanksgiving. We're about to have the holidays coming up. That's always a slower time in Manhattan. Our next uh, seasonal listing time will be in the spring. But again, I think between now and in the spring, it is a buyer's market where a buyer can get what's considered a deal for Manhattan. Come spring, I think a lot of sellers who have been waiting are going to start listing their units. It may be at a slightly lower price, but if the listings start going up, that's gonna create some competition there uh, with the listing price and, and that's gonna drive prices up. So now's the time for a buyer. If you're a seller that has been on the market, sadly, you're gonna be faced with a lot more competition come spring. So you may wanna consider bringing those prices down or striking some sort of deal, offer some sort of con concession on the back end in terms of maybe you're gonna buy down some points on the mortgage. Maybe you're gonna offer a credit on the back end, something to incentivize the buyers that are out there and they are out there. They're just hesitant. Buyers, don't be hesitant. <laughs> Now's the time. You see what I'm saying? Between the seller and the buyer, we got all gotta work together. We wanna make some deals before prices really start changing and going up. Now, let's talk about the high interest rates. Of course, the high interest rates have thrown a kink in everything. It's been very difficult for buyers. Uh, I will say, because I have some gray hair, my very first purchase was at an 8.25% interest rate and that was the good one so if you look at a 50-year chart we're still fairly normal when it comes to interest rates although I can understand that it, it's getting a little bit higher it's feeling a little bit scarier but understand that right now the economy is actually doing well 
there's a disconnect between the average person feeling great about the economy and what may be in their, their pocketbook, but the economy on paper is doing well. If the economy continues to do well throughout this next season, uh, looking at that when the feds are going to be meeting and what the predictions are with futures and everything, it looks like it looks like the first cut in interest rates may come next June. So for buyers that are out there, if you can get a good deal now, then you can have a little bit of patience. Maybe you can refinance in the future. It won't be in three months. It won't be an immediate refinance, but maybe in a year or so, you can refinance at a better interest rate. If you're a seller, get ready, because if the interest rates do come down, that means there are gonna be more buyers entering the market, which is gonna help drive up the prices a little bit. All right, so I do think that if things stay the way they are, and based on the meetings and the futures reports, that the interest rates may get cut, but it won't be until the middle of next year. So we all have to have a little bit of patience about that. All right, I hope this was helpful. I'm Dewey Moss, I'm your New York City real estate resource. Please remember to hit the like, subscribe, and notification button so that you can be notified of all the great content we're releasing on this channel. Holidays are coming up. So if you're celebrating something between now and next time I see you, start having a great fall season in New York City, and I'll see you next time.